If you've ever had to remove a toilet, you know it can be a real struggle, but there are some tips to make it easier. We have plumber Mike Lombardi here to show us how to do it. So the next part of the remodel requires us to remove the toilet, and I always prefer to take it apart. It's easier to handle and less likely to spill water. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure the valve that shuts off the water will shut off the water. And in case it doesn't, you wanna be sure to know where your main shutoff is in case you need to use it. It's not unusual for you to struggle with the handle if it hasn't been touched in a long time. So I think I have it off. Now we're gonna flush it. We'll confirm that the fill valve is shut off. And that's great. I'm gonna carefully remove the ball cock rod and ball so I can get my sponge in there to get the last bit of water out, keep the mess to a minimum. Grab my sponge, and I like this sponge. Get it at the home center. It'll hold a lot of water. So we'll wring that out. One more dip should do it. And then we'll go to loosen the nuts on the bolts that hold the tank to the bowl. Okay, that's great. These are the two tools I use the most to loosen the bolts and nuts that hold the tank to the bowl. This is the simple adjustable wrench. Sometimes it's a little awkward and tight space, so I have this deep socket that I got at the home center that fits exactly the size of the nut on the bolt underneath the tank. Okay, so I have enough room on this side. I'm going to adjust the wrench to fit the nut, which is tucked way up under here. And usually these are brass nuts, so they'll come apart pretty simply. And I'm actually putting slight pressure with my left arm onto the tank just to make that bolt a little bit looser. And oh, that's good. It's coming off very easily. There we are. Now we'll do the other side. Same thing, and I can tell by the tank being a little loose that the, the nut and bolt are probably loose. Coming off very easily, which is a good thing. Okay, now before I go any farther, I'm gonna slip my partial pail which I just cut out of a full-size five-gallon bucket so it'll fit easily underneath the, the low location of the, the shutoff valve. Okay, now that I have the bucket in place, I'm gonna remove the supply tube, and that's the tube that connects from the valve to the bottom of the tank and delivers the water. We already have that shut off, so I'm gonna put the wrench on right above the valve, and I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise. Okay, I got it loosened with the wrench, and now the rest I can do by hand. The bucket does a nice job of catching those few drops of water. Now we're ready to remove the tank. And I'm going to pick it straight up and off, and I'm going to set it right here on the seat. I could wipe off any little miscellaneous bits of water and put a rag in here so we don't spill any water when we carry it out. Now we're ready to take it out, and it's a lot easier to handle like this. Now we're gonna remove the bowl. And I first thing I like to do is put a, just a little bit of bleach in here. Sanitize it and kill any germs. Bleach is a powerful disinfectant and it only takes a little bit just to make sure we're working with clean water. And then I'm gonna get my sponge again. I'm gonna bail out the bowl. Should only take a couple of spongefuls. Okay, that's real good. Nice and dry. Set this to the side. Now, in case this toilet is caulked in, we want to break that seal. If we're in a, if you're replacing a, an existing toilet, we don't want to compromise any of the, the tile here. So sometimes the glue is so sticky, you could actually pull the ball and a few tiles will come with it. So we're just gonna run our putty knife in here, a very thin one, just to make sure there's no seal. And it, this toilet has not been caulked to the floor, so that's in our favor. Now we've got my adjustable wrench again, and we're gonna get right on these nuts. And these are called the closet bolts. They're actually connected to the flange. And uh, sometimes if they're rusty, you may have to cut them off with a hacksaw but in this case, they're fairly new and in really good condition. So again, it's counterclockwise. 
All right, so this nut is coming off a little bit hard here at the end. So I'm going to wedge my screwdriver in here very carefully against the bolt. And then I'm going to put my wrench on there and finish taking it off. And that's keep, that screwdriver is keeping the bolt from turning while I'm removing the nut. And that's good. Okay, now we'll go to the other side. Okay, so the last bolt is loose and I have it off now. And I'm ready to remove the toilet. But before I do, I'm just going to double check for a caulk or grout seal with my putty knife. Yeah, there's no, there's no caulk here, so the toilet's going to come up easy, and, and here we go. I'm going to take it straight up. I'm going to put it right on a piece of cardboard to protect the floor and to protect the toilet. Keep things a little neater. Right now with the cardboard, i got an easy time moving it around, and we're going to take this wax off of here, right here, because... If we lose a piece of that while we're carrying it through the house, it can make a real sticky mess, especially on carpet. Again, if that gets on the floor and you step in it, you're gonna, everyone's going to know where you've been. Okay, that looks real good. Now we're ready to carry it out. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do is wipe up any drips of water or wax, and then I'm going to stuff a rag in here in case there's some water left over. And then we can carry it out through the house without any spillage. And I like to grab the toilet on the bottom where there's a good grip and inside the rim. So under the seat, inside the rim, and then straight up. Very easy to handle. The lid's not going to flap around and hurt anybody, especially you. And now we're going out. Okay, so if we were going to be putting a toilet back here, we would want to get our putty knife and clean us this old wax and prepare it a little bit better. But this is a remodel job, and we want to make sure no debris goes down the pipe and no sewer gas comes out. So I'm going to install this plug. I got it at the home center. Fits snugly. And that's it for our toilet removal.